Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're playing Pulsar Lost Colony. I'm joined by Nubbin Hello. and Caitlin the Scientist. Hello. We're a man down, so we have a bot standing in for my friend Andy, who's going to be managing uh, manning the engineering station for us. Um, but we're going to dive in. We've been playing it a little bit. Um, so we're, we're, what, like two missions in, I think? Yeah. So we haven't done much. We're like level three. We've upgraded like maybe one or two systems. Done a bit of research, um, and the USS Ausleys, Ausleys is really keen for us to get underway. Is that the same ship as ours? It is. Yeah. Uh, please don't crash into it. Whew. <laughs> Point two kilometers away. Oh man, that really spins me out. If I'm stood right in front of the screen, <laughs> ooh, I'm getting vertigo. Okay, all right, I'm gonna man my post and figure out where we want to go. Uh, we're fully um, kitted out, aren't we? So we don't really need to head to any space stations. I mean, we could always use better phaser pistols. We could. Um, maybe if I head us to there and then we're only one jump away from a repair station anyway we can see what they've got oh do, uh weren't we going to check out uh the uh what is it um oh the space beacon. uh the stargate yeah the stargate and then the um beacons oh uh, yeah we but we were um sidetracked from doing that weren't we we was was it 837 uh no, it was. Oh, if I turn that off. There's no two, three. Two, oh, I can't see. Is that now. a stargate? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. It's only one jump away. Perfect. All right, Sweet. Line us up. Uh, it looks like Scotty is um is charging the warp drive already, Perfect. which is great. Well done, Scotty. Good job. You're welcome. <laughs> How do we get him to jump? Will he just do it automatically once we're aligned? I doubt it. I'm gonna keep an eye on him just to make sure. We'll replace Scotty at some point because he seems to just stare off into the deep of space when he's not got anything to do. No, no, don't worry, Scotty. I've got it, mate. Don't you just <laughs> fucking relax? <laughs> uh, yeah, well done, Scotty. Yeah, Thanks very much. Stuff. We have a mission. Yay! Colonial Union Roland class starship has crash landed on an unknown planet. We need to board the ship and look for survivors. Yeah. Let us accept that. That sounds Hell tasty. Yeah. Uh, and that is a jump away from where we're going, actually. So once we get here, we could jump away again. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what happened last time? Yeah, it just doesn't want us to go to warp, does it? <laughs> no. I'm going to bring us out of warp. We should be here. Yeah, we are. I want to have a quick look at this because it looks cool. Bring it up on the uh, main viewer, please, Nubs. Oh, look at that. Uh, they're cool, aren't they? Let me. Yep, there she is. Wow. So the way it works is we would hail it, and then I would get a list of um, destinations come up on the captain's screen, and each of those destinations will cost us a certain amount of money. And it varies from like a couple of hundred to 1,500, 2,000, depending on how far we want to go. Um, but let's not do that. Let's head on mission. So we oh, want to be going to gate. here. Is it? Oh, no, it's behind <laughs> me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, 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 I was like, all oh, right. Cool. <laughs> what would happen if we walked through a walk gate? Yeah, the shape of the ship doesn't make it very obvious to see which is the front and which is the back, does it? No, it's... Spherical. You just have to fire the engines and see what happens. It's got a bit of a high knee. Yeah. Uh, we are aligned. All right, I'll uh, I'll jump us. Thanks for nothing, Scotty. <laughs> Here we go. Jump in progress. Core temp is okay. You don't seem to really be manning your station, Scotty. I mean, does he kick in when something urgent happens, or? I do not know. He seems very I vacant. Try going to yellow alert just to see if it. Freaks them out a little bit, make them move. See Yellow alert! To your stations. <laughs> no, he doesn't care. No. He really doesn't care. He does not care. Okay, I'm gonna bring us out of warp. Okay. Mm. I'm glad we're not paying him. 
Yeah, me too. Yeah. Boom. Oh, very great. Status report. Let's get some scans on the go. Uh, yes. We should be here, so we need to try and find we, the uh, uh, planet. Oh, you found her. No, wow, it's huge. That doesn't look very nice. Uh, she... Mm, I don't know, man. She's massive. I think we might need exosuits for that. That doesn't look friendly. No. Well, we'll find out when the scans come in. Um... The result... There's two life forms, and they're both humanoid. Okay, so they could be survivors. Yeah. Does it say anything about the temperature of the planet or whether we like need exosuits or? Um, no, it can it say like. Ship is offline. Uh, so we're well, we're beaming into a ship on the planet, so we should be okay. Although it's offline, so it might not have life support. Yeah, I say exosuits. Okay. Let's this man up. QT signal one. Oh yeah, go um, Google that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Google that. QT yeah, one. Yeah. If we go to search. QT, can we not do that? QT1? No? Yeah. No, there's no QT. Hmm. What does that mean then? Oh, EM signature and QT signature. So that's whether it's giving off any signatures. It's a ship, but it's offline. So I'd say, yeah, let's suit up. Oh, you already have. Scotty, you're in charge. Please don't drive away while we're down on the planet. Pushing my forehead. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm beaming down. You look so special. I feel it. Oh. Is pitch oh. black down here? Oh, the, that angle threw me off, man. Yeah. Uh, Kay, you're a science officer, right? Yes. I think oh. you can probably get life support back online. There's a door. I seem to remember you could do stuff. Like repair it slightly. I don't know whether you can do anything with that. No. No? So it's just dead. Okay. I thought maybe we could, like, slightly recover the ship. Oh, man, this ship is humongous. Uh, it's, it's creepy being on these abandoned things, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Uh, shall we go check out the bridge and captain's quarters? Yeah. See if we can get some internal lights on as well. Okay. Well, I think that's... That's the planet. <laughs> yeah, that's, wow. where, that's where the bridge is. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm just going to check out the cargo hold. Okay, I'm going to check on the crew quarters because we might have survivors. You know? Okay. Man, this cargo hold is a long way down. Yeah. Oh my god, it's huge! Yeah. Wow. What have we got? Nanoactive hull, I'll tag that for transport. Man, you need to see this cargo bay. It is ridiculous. I'm coming, dude. Is that you? Is that you down here? Oh, that's Caitlin. That's Caitlin. Isn't it massive? It's huge. We, and it just keeps going. This is um, the other ship, isn't it? It's the. This is the really star. It's the really Star Trek looking one. Yeah, this is the um, destroyer or frigate or something. Like this is this is engineering back here. So that's the warp core. Hmm. Which is completely dead by the looks of it. Yeah. Oh, hang on, we've got a panel here. Where are you, twist? Capsule ready. Can we manually charge this thing? Let's have a look. I mean, has she got any fuel? Where are you? No, she hasn't. I've just gone up the ramp to the to upper level of engineering. Emergency core eject is grayed out. Oh, hang on, can we power these levers? No. All the panels are dead. It looks, looks completely dead. I saw some colour in the capsule already thing, and I thought maybe it could. Oh, uh, guys. Yeah. What? Have you seen this? Where are you? Down there. Something. Uh, something uh, came in the ship. Oh. <gasps> what is that? That's. We can go out to the surface there if we want to. 
Shall we check the rest of the ship before we leave it? Yeah, let's head up and um, go to the bridge. Now, isn't that the way we came? How do you um, use your is weapon? it the way you came? I don't know. I did. I came from the cargo bay. Yeah, that's. Oh. And then you can come up to the bridge here. Through the kitchen. This looks like the bridge. Life support. Maybe I can go look at that. Okay, that's all battered. There's another oh. couple of consoles here, but I can't get to them. Engineering. Ah oh, man, is that? Can I get in there? Oh, I can get in there. What is this? Oh, this is weapons. I found weapons. Nice. Is that working? No, that's offline as well. Um, and this is, I think that's probably science. I can't do anything with that either. Everything's totally dead. There's also a lot of um, rock in here as well. Yeah. This sounds like it's on. It does sound like it's on, doesn't it? But yeah. I can't seem to find a way to get to, I think maybe through that rock is Ooh. the bridge. Okay, well it has a nuclear device attached. That's what the humming is. Yeah, we can't we no. can't use it to power the ship though. I think the bridge would be up there where all the collapse is, but we can't get into it. Nah. So I think maybe we're gonna have to head out to the surface and see if we can get another way around to it. Yeah, well I'm a bit worried if it's just made its way straight into the ship like that. Maybe they maybe it didn't, maybe they shot out. No, because yeah, it would look different, wouldn't it? Maybe. How do you use your jetpack? Uh, double tap spacebar. Okay. Crew quarters, but that's where we started. Right. Um, Alright, let's, let's, let's go outside. Oh, dude, this is really sketchy. Isn't it weird? I hope the surface is alright. Uh, I still haven't read anybody on my scanner. Uh, it looks fine, it looks breathable. Whoa, look at that twist. Look up. I know, man. It's look huge. Look at those spikes. Those are massive. Holy yeah. Hell. Right, Caitlin, we need you to figure out where we need to go here. Oh. Can you see uh, anything on the uh, scanner? No, I see it teleported, but I think that's registering from inside the ship. Yeah, it should be. You're looking for, uh, what is it, a white dot? White dot or red dots? Let's just head out this way and see if we can... Uh, yeah, the way you're going, twist. Yeah. Yeah, over there. Oh yeah, I see something. Yeah, I can see it from up here. Yeah, there's like a base or something over there. It looks like a little um, makeshift shelter. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming. Is that not showing up on your scanner? Oh, I have one red dot, white dot that just came up. Ah, okay. That'll be a life sign. Yep, yeah, there's Two something now. here, although it looks like a robot. Oh. It's a robot. What's going on, robot? XR38134. He wasn't expecting to see us. I bet he wasn't. Um, all other officers perished in the initial crash uh, or from severe injuries. He's the only survivor. Um, he apologizes, but he's most grateful. Um, it's the USS Valiance. Um, please don't tell the command center that he's still functional. He'll disable the distress signal. Um, he'd like to stay with the Valiance. He just wants to stay here. Aww. Yeah, he just wants to stay here. He doesn't want to leave. He's quite happy. Uh, okay. Um, oh. Are you sure? I mean, he's yeah. a robot. Do we think he could be more functioning? Or? I don't know. We've um, completed our mission. Everything we need to have done here is done. Okay, well, let him do what he wants to do. I mean, if that's, that's it, we've got no cause to... 
go against his wishes. He's got his pen and paper, and his and his coloring his coloring pencils by the looks of it. <laughs> He's been on the mushrooms, clearly. Yeah. Maybe he'll go investigate these giant ass spikes. Yeah, we need to research that um, special jump jet fuel, so we can jump jet higher. Is it higher and longer? Is it? Yeah, it's longer. So. But... Do we need to reapply our talents? Actually. Yeah, we do. We do need to reapply our talents when we reload a game. Ah. Right. Yeah. So let's do that. Strength boost, intimidation, diplomacy, scavenger. I'm gonna just put another point in diplomacy for now. Um, would you like me to do anything with the ship, or would you like extra pistol damage in case we get broken? Um, or yeah, you had a you had a talent that was like extra maneuverability or something, didn't you? Yeah, I can I can totally upgrade that one. It's I mean it's up to you. You're the pilot, so how's she feel? She feels great. I really like the ship. She's really nice. I'll Since do this that and um, pistols. Okay. So the ship we're using at the moment, Kay, mm -hmm. is um, I think the latest one that the developers have built. Oh, nice. And by the end of, well, I say by the end of the game, by the end, by the time they come to release, they're hoping to have I think thirty ships. I remember reading. Wow. 30 did playable you, ships. Wait a second, did you guys go inside? Yes. No. Oh, oh, I did. Running around outside. <laughs> uh, I'm heading back to the transport pad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm keen to make sure. Around. Yeah, I'm keen to make sure Scotty doesn't like drive off. <laughs> um, I forgot we researched that upgrade, didn't we? Um, that extra UI. The better eyesight thing? Yes, we did. Yeah, but yeah I, I only just put a point in it because I didn't put a point in it previously, so now I'm actually going to see what it does. So that would be cool. Do we need to put a point in it? Yeah, you have to buy it. Do you? Where is that? Oh yeah, you can see custom eye implants. I don't have it. I think that's a pilot only thing. Ah. Uh, I don't have it. That's just for you. Alright, well, it's going to be for all of us because it gives us more information about everything around us. Piloting UI provides additional information. Hmm. So you get additional information while piloting. That's awesome. Yeah, I do. Right, let's beam back.